Alright guys, how's it going and welcome back to another satisfactory video. We're coming back to the coal power plant setup because a few of you have been asking how on earth is it possible that I can get 360 cubic meters of water down a Mark 1 pipe when it only supports 300 cubic meters of water per minute. So in today's video we'll take a look at it, how I've got it set up, how it works and hopefully from this you can see how you can leverage this setup for your coal power plant builds or other builds that require water in the future. Okay, so here we have our coal power plant from the video. The only thing I've changed is I have painted the water pipes blue just to make it obvious that they carry water. So we have three water extractors, each extracting 120 cubic meters of water per minute. So that makes a total of 360. Then we have eight coal power plants, all of which are consuming 45 cubic meters of water per minute, as you can see here. So how does that exactly translate? Because all we have here is pipeline mark ones, so as you can see here, both sides. So there's no hidden thing or anything like that. So if we press N, we have 45 times 8, that equals 360 cubic meters of water per minute. But let's have a look at the pipeline Mark 1. It can only use 300 cubic meters of water per minute. So how does that work exactly? Well. What we can do is we'll switch to the top down view that you saw at the start of the video and we will get some graphics going and we'll break it down for you. Okay, so let's start at the water extractors. So from left to right, I'm going to call them extractor one, two and three. If we look at extractor number one, if we look at the flow rates, it'll go out of the extractor, it'll go off to the left, then up, and then it'll curve back round on itself and start passing the coal power plants and it'll be the same for extractor number three but in this case it'll come up go off to the right go up and then return back on itself across the other four and it'll actually meet in the middle of the eight coal generators so ultimately you've got one feeding effectively four coal generators and then you've got number three feeding the other four coal generators but that's not quite enough uh, water for both of them it's where we need number two to come in. Now that we have extractors one and three producing 240 of the 360 water per minute requirement, this is where number two comes in. What we have to do is basically take that 120 water per minute that it produces and split it into two 60 water per minute lines and merge them into the two sides of the system effectively. So all we do here is we add in a connector into a pipe and then run them in towards another set of connectors which in this case will act as mergers and it flows in two directions and what this effectively means that if we take just the output from extractor one and half the output from extractor two we've suddenly changed 120 water per minute into a 180 water per minute line so there's actually still an awful lot of capacity in the mark one pipes to hold even more water so this could actually be scaled up and can be used to run much bigger coal systems. So if you actually haven't quite got fuel generators yet, you could increase your belt speeds and you could add more coal generators and you could actually just get away with maybe adding in another couple of water extractors, depending on how the mathematics work out. And you will be able to run them with very few water extractors. And there you have it. That's all it takes to run eight coal power plants off of three water extractors when you're using Mark 1 pipes that only carry 300 water per minute, but when the system itself requires 360 water per minute. So with that, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I know it's been a while since I've last bit, uh, put one out, but hopefully from now on things have been settling down so I'll be able to start generating more content for you guys. And if you have any suggestions about more satisfactory content or if there's other games you'd like me to cover, just let me know. Hit me up in Discord, leave a comment, just give me your feedback and I will get on it. So and 
till then, I'll see you in the next one.